That's the fresh water. I'm gonna go check to make sure the pump's off. All right. Pump is now off. Okay. We're gonna let that fresh water tank just drain, okay? Okay. Now I gotta go get a cup of cool. Um, I'm on. <laughs> We're gonna put the sewer hose on just like this, but at a dump station. We're gonna stick that in the dump station. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Stick that in the dump. All right. Now, the white handle with the black handle. That's the black thing. Okay. White. The black handle. That's the black thing. The skinny one with the gray handle. That's the gray one. The gray one. Yes. You never want to pull them at the same time. You don't want to contaminate the gray. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna pull the black first, okay. and we're gonna close it, and then we're gonna get the gray and help flush out the hose. And when it's perfectly clear, that means it's open. Nope. Okay. All piss turns. That's normal. Okay. Right. okay. This is open like this. Oh. Okay. There you go. Close it out. Thank you. Gray. All right, now we're going to go drain the water heater, all right? Now right now, that water, that water heater tank is full of water, so are all the lines, and it's also pressurized, yeah. all right? So, we're going to come over here. We're going to make sure that it's off, because if it's on and we drain it, we're going to burn the heat element up, okay? All right, so the first thing I want to do, it's off, is I'm going to release the pressure. Okay, I want to close it back up. One and one sixteen. Oh, that's actually ratchet tightened, not not hand tightened. Yes, okay, that's ratchet. That's yeah, it's got to be tight. Not not torque tight, but tight. Okay. Because okay? if it's not, you're going to get purging oh. by that pump. See the anode rod? Yeah. See that little dot in the center? Yeah. That's the wire. Oh. It runs all the way down there. Okay. So anywhere along there you can see it. It's time to replace it. Yeah. It's going to look all chewed up. It's doing its job. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, you see how slow that's coming out? Open up that pressure release valve. Oh. Take a picture of this. What is that? That's my blowout plug. Your blowout plug? Blowout plug. Blowout plug. Blow out blow out plug. plug. This is a regulator. This keeps my air pressure from going over 50 pounds yeah. PSI. This is getting me from garden hose thread to my quick and to my air hose. Got it. That's all it is. That's gonna screw right to the city water hookup. Just like so. Does that does that come with this or do no. we have to buy mm -hmm. one? Have to get one? You have to make it. No, no. you have to buy one. You no, either, no, you, you can't. You, you can have to make use it. that or just set your compressor it. Yeah, that's what I'll probably do is set the compressor through the counter. Uh, but I'm saying you have to get adapters, right? Uh, Something to go from like hose uh -huh. thread to... Machine thread, yeah, machine. Uh, your adapters. Yeah. Yeah. Just go down to Ace or something like that. Okay. Yeah. I do I should do suggest you get one of those because not only to close that, I'm going to be nice to my neighbor and close that up, okay? Okay. Thank you. Now, theoretically, that's all we really need to do to that, but I'm going to blow it out because I can. Okay. All right. And do you leave that anode rod out like that too? Okay. Where is it now? It's on the inside of that cage. I have no poop in this yet. All right. Oh. oh, you wouldn't leave it open normally? No. Okay. okay. That antifreeze that's going to go in there, in fact, I'll just go ahead and close it. That little bit of antifreeze that's going to go down in there, and you're going to hurt a thing. It has plenty of room to go, and if it's any water, it has plenty of room to go. So. All right, now, All right, now I'm going to blow this water heater out the rest of the way. While that's doing that, I'm going to go get some RV antifreeze. Stay right here. Yes. Okay. That water heater is not bypassed. It's still open. Okay. Okay. The only time you have to bypass this water heater is if you're going to run RV antifreeze through it. Okay? 
not doing that, right? And hey, you got one of those? Uh, yeah. Well, I think you might so. have to go out and buy one one sixteen socket. Not too many people have those. Yeah, I might have it in my impact set though. Okay. Good. I got some pretty big sockets in my impact set. When you're doing that, watch that those are sharp, man. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. So that's all done. Okay. Now we're gonna reconnect our air.